What's up everybody, Neil here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your Android device for some easier mobile gaming. So the first thing we're going to do is get the controller ready. So just turning it on will not actually let your Android device connect to it or list it under one of the possible Android, sorry, one of the possible Bluetooth devices you can connect to. So what we're going to do is actually just hold the share right here and the home button at the same time until this light bar begins to flash white. So we're just going to hold this down and it should eventually start flashing white. There you go. So you'll get that flash and you know that you can now connect your controller to your Android device. So I'm on a Nexus running Lollipop just so you know that it does work with Lollipop. As you can see, the controller is ready to be connected. It's flashing, so I'm gonna go ahead and toggle on Bluetooth since it wasn't already. And you see right up top, it says wireless controller. Now I'm just gonna tap on it and it's gonna pair it right now. There you go, I'm paired. And you may notice that you can actually control certain things with this. So you see, I can actually highlight that option, select it. Um, it's kind of limited to what you can actually control your Android with, so let's just stick with the games. So now let's go ahead and show you how to actually enable third-party controls within a desired game. Compatibility with third-party controllers is limited, but a lot of games do grant this option, like RPG games, like uh, role-playing games, like uh, Soulcraft, as I'm going to show right now. And every game has different settings, but for the most part, what you're trying to do is disable the Android controller option and select, if it does give you this option, the third-party controller option. So just head into the settings. Like I said, every game is different. Uh, right here, though, you see it says use tablet controls. Now what I'm going to do is just disable this. So now with no tablet controls, it will revert to the third party control. Now, as I said, every game is different. Some may actually give you the option to select third party control, or you may just be able to disable the Android or tablet controls that you see right here. So let's go ahead and show you how to play this or see this in action. So as mentioned, every game is different and this also does work for emulators. So if you're using a PlayStation emulator or any other type of emulator, they do, for the most part, give you the option to select third-party controllers. So this is definitely a viable option you may want to look into as it just makes it a lot easier to use and play games. Uh, you don't have to just uh, hold the device, you can prop it up on something like I have on this uh, frame holder. And I can just sit back, relax, and play while I'm at home or something. So definitely give it a try. Check out the full guide on GadgetHacks.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.